Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. If you use your MFT table for assembly work, and why wouldn't you, then you need clamps, and especially horizontal clamps to hold the frame together while the glue sets. These are less common, but they're actually quite easy to make. And today, I shall be making some sturdy clamps that are easy to make, don't require anything other than hand tools, and quite cheap. So let's get on with it after this. The starting point is 300mm long, 8mm threaded rod. This is widely available. They come in packs of 5 from Screwfix. Scripting cloth to protect the thread, first cut the rods in two. With the rod 10 to 12 millimeters proud of the vise, file a flat on the end of the rod. You want about 3 millimeters showing between the threads. Rotate the rod by 180 degrees. And repeat. You now need to rotate at 60 degrees. This is not critical. Repeat for another 60 degrees. Now you need to repeat to do two more on the other side. When you're done you should have a hexagon that looks like that and indeed a screwdriver mounting piece should fit over. Fit two nuts on the other end and tighten them against each other. The pads can be made from hardwood or better still composite material like this decking. The part ends up shaped like this. Using a 15mm Fosner bit, a hole is drilled in the middle, just over twice the thickness of the nuts. In my case that's 12.5mm. Check using a couple of nuts, then use a magnet to fish them out again. The top cover is a scrap of aluminium, although thin ply could be used. This is drilled 8mm in the middle with two 4mm countersunk holes at the corners. Assembled, it looks like this. So, how about the dogs? Well for that I should be using this, 10mm aluminium bar. This is a metre length, should cost you around £17 in the UK. If you cut it to 60mm lengths, then you get dogs for around a pound each. That's not bad. So let's be doing it. The bar cuts easily with a hacksaw. Here I've tidied up the ends using emery cloth. And the one at the front is shinier because I put it on the buffing wheel. It shows the finish you can get if you try. The next step is to put a threaded hole through the dog about 10mm from the top and tap at 8mm, which you can do with a tap like this. If you don't have access to taps, you can instead use an insert like this. Fit it in a straight hole. I'm doing this with a pillar drill, but it can be done equally well with a hand power drill. The tapping size for 8mm is 6.75, but if you don't have that, 1764 is very close. <laughs> we 
We can then tap 8mm. Notice then protecting the dog from the jaws. With the threading done, we can assemble. The threaded part just screws into the dog. And it's ready. Four pretty much makes up a set with these, enough to clamp a frame. So how do you operate them? Well, you can use either a drill or an electric screwdriver and one of these offset bits. But personally, I prefer a flexible drive and an electric screwdriver. Pops on easily and easy to drive. Note the shaft is long enough so there's always a dog hole within reach. In practice, if this was a fielded door you were framing up, you just lay it as, as you can see. tightly then. And you can see why you need four clamps. By my calculation these clamps cost around two pounds a piece. That's not bad. And remember you can't have too many clamps. That's all for this time. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.